All right, I think that everybody is now connected to the webinar. Welcome to the Elika Academy for Dihaling Sunflower Seeds. We are thrilled to perform our very first Elika webinar where we decided to focus on our latest improvements in the sunflower dihaling. I'm Kawian Radouf and today with my colleagues Mr. Ned Konikov and Mrs. Valeria Furmetin, we will present you our dihaling technology for technical and business aspect. If you have any questions during the presentation, you can ask them directly in the chat section and we will try to answer them at the end of the webinar. So, a few words about the speakers. Mrs. Formatin is a graduated mechanical engineer and has been working for ISM for five years. She started as a regional sales manager for inspections and sorting of plastic food, of plastic and food, and since 2018 she has been on the position of sales director. Mr. Netkonikov graduated Industrial Electronics and Automation and has been working for Elika headquarters for almost 10 years. He has started as an engineer in 2008 and has been the head engineer of our engineering department consi consisting of 15 team members for 8 years. A bit about myself, I graduated business management and have been working full-time for Elika group for almost 4 years. I started as an internal project manager and now I'm taking the position of business development manager at Elika Group. Today uh, we will be presenting you the dehulling system, uh, the, the system working for kernel production, for oil crushing plants, then Valeria will give us more information about how we have integrated the optical sorters in our technology. And then I will be presenting the complete line and some uh, calculations for the yearly income of our um, installations. But first, let's start with some interesting figures from a latest internal research made by biz our business development department. At this moment, Bulgaria is the world leader in production and export of sunflower kernels. The leadership was achieved with a contribution of the dehaling technology developed by Elika. As you can see, more than half of the Bulgarian kernels are produced on our equipment. These clients are working on 24-hour cycle with an 8-hour interruption every 10 days for cleaning the line. Now, Mr. Nikov will continue the presentation by going through the technical details of our dehaling system. Hello everyone. First of all, I want to welcome you in our first webinar. My name is Netko Nikolov and I've been heading the engineering department at Elika for 13 years. Today I will present to you the Sunflower dehulling system with submitted patent, patent application. I will also speak about the improvement of the dehulling impact frame developed by our team of engineers and it's already patented. Let's start with the structure of the system. It consists of two horizontal dehullers, a screen machine, three closed circuit aspirations and a closed loop chain conveyor. One of the advantages of our system in comparison to the competitors is its compact size while providing high productivity and at the same time high quality output. The configuration for dehulling sunflower seeds for oil crushing uh, factories has a capacity of up to 180 tons per, per day. The configuration for the kernel productions is up to 1.2 tons per hour. The patented high efficiency dehuller and the large screening area for separating the fractions both contribute to the high quality of the final product. With the help of the three closed circuit aspirations, we separate the hulls individually for each fraction. For minimizing the possibility of the kernels falling into the hulls fraction. Now let's look at the scheme and uh, how the system works. The incoming sunflower, the purple stream, enter the closed loop chain conveyor that feeds simultaneously the two horizontal dehullers 
on the top. After the hurling, the boat streams fall into three parallel screen areas of the cleaner. The black sunflower seeds, which were not held during the first pass, are separated together with the largest husks. At the end of the screen area, they divide to the two low circuit aspirations located on the both sides of the cleaner. Then the large husks, uh, the red stream, is separated from the black sunflower seeds. After that, the underheld sunflower falls back into the same closed loop chain conveyor and from there is fed back to the same dehuller. This saves the cost of purchasing uh, and uh, maintaining a parallel system for second dehulling pass. The large husks are removed from the aspiration chamber with a screw conveyor. And let's go back to the cleaner where the reminding dehuller kernels and small holes are fed parallel to the three lower sieve areas we are re-separating the final particles it's a yellow stream from the kernels and small holes the reminding material consisting the kernels and small holes is fed to the third closed circuit aspiration having already separated the final particles the closed circle aspirations easily separate the kernels from the small holes the small holes, the red stream, are taken to the same conveyor that taking, taking the large holes. Meanwhile, the kernels, the green stream, continue to the next machine from the technology for further processing. Now, I will say a few words about the horizontal dehullers. As already mentioned, Elika owns a patent for an improvement model of the impact frame. It was designed in-house by the team of our engineers. It has three times contact area of conventional dehuller within the same dimensions. The equipment is used in the old crushing factories where high capacities and low maintenance costs are main requirements. Furthermore, we have a impact frame of the dehuller for kernel production which has surrounded edges for performing the most delicate dehulling possible. The design reduces dramatically the percentage of the broken kernels into the final product. The dehullers are equipped with trapezoidal distributor of the incoming material which guarantees its even distribution through the width of the machine. The sunflower seeds then pass through the magnetic separator integrated across the entire width of the machine to separate ferret impurities. Both the fat shaft and the rotor are regulated by frequency converter. Another important point is the ability to adjust the distance between the impact frame and the rotor to achieve a high dehulling efficiency at the different humidity levels of the sunflower seeds. The contact elements of the rotor are made of wear resistant steel and can be easily replaced when needed. Here the advantage is that before replacing these elements the client can first turn them around and use the another impact age as well. The next element of the dehulling system is the screen cleaner and three closed circuit aspirations. The screen area of the machine is 22 square meters distributed on six screening layers. The driving shaft and the motor, specially designed by our team, are mounted directly on the lower shoe of the machine and not on the, its frame. This reduces vibration and allows 
the unit to be installed without a special design foundation or fortifications. The, the, the three closed circuit aspirations works in the principle of the air recycling. This means they do not need additional air ducts, cyclones or expensive filters. So they reduce the dustness of the production area and improve the working conditions. The aspirations is controlled by frequency converter where the smooth regulation contributes to the efficient separation of the materials. In our search for the most efficient solutions, we concluded that the closed loop chain conveyor is a suitable equipment for transport of the sunflower seeds. The converse uh, replaces several other transport equipment and can feed a large number of the machines while automation the process of repassing the sunflower seeds. Thanks to the paddles may, made of high density polyethylene, we minimize the sunflower seeds breakage and extend the service life of the equipment. When you replace several converts with a single one, this reduces the risk of damage and potential downtime of the entire installation. This type of conveyor systems also helps to eliminate the dust from the production area. That will be all from me. Thank you for your attention. Back to you, Kaoyan. Thank you, Netco, for the detailed explanation. Now it's time for Ms. Formentin to present how we have integrated Elica ISM optical sorters in our complete decaling lines. Thank you, Kaloyan, and uh, greetings from Elica ISM and all the Italian team. Let's go to discover how ASM and Elica managed to implement the optical sorting equipment into the canvas production. Firstly, we shall specify that optical sorters are the end-of-line machines in the cleaning process of sunflower seeds. Main purposes to install an optical sorter are the final cleaning of sunflower seeds, to separate all the possible contaminants remaining from the mechanical cleaning process, the optimization of kernel's purity by rejecting defective seeds, Cross-contamination, it means other seeds not consistent with sunflower as infestants, and foreign bodies as stones, sticks, plastics, glass, or others. And third goal is to reduce product waste due to the high value and cost of sunflower. Top model in ASM portfolio is Quasar, shown in this picture. This sorter is equipped with true color cameras dedicated to the visible spectrum and the SWIR sensor that works in the infrared field. To size an optical sorter, some application data are required, in particular, the throughput of the production line to define the number of channels, the initial contamination level of the product needed to estimate the throughput per shoot. And the customer expectation in terms of final purity that impacts on the number of sorting passages. Actually, before every sale, ASM is used to performing a test with the customer product in its lab, providing sorting analysis and report to show the achievable performance after sorting. Quasar has a modular configuration with available sizes from one shoot up to six shoots. Our team guides the customer in choosing the right size and configuration. Following slides show several examples of sunflower kernels. On the left side, typical samples of input product with different initial contamination levels and a clear chromatic variation in the color of hulled kernels. 
This particularly depends on variety of seeds, seasonal conditions and territorial origin. On the right side, typical contaminants or defects are displayed as non-peeled stripes on kernels due to non-complete the hulling process, fully non-peeled or darker kernels, yellowish kernels mainly affected by diseases, presence of other seeds due to cross-contamination, as for example in this case, wheat. Having cleared the application data, ASM engineer performs lab tests and prepares a report. In this first case, the required throughput was 1,500 kg per hour per shoot, with an initial contamination level up to 9%, and an expected final purity above 99.95%. With a single passage using Quasar, the final purity is above the customer request and the final reject without any resort is below 20% of the input with a concentration of 45.81%. This second test has been required at 500 kg per hour per shoot, with an initial contamination level very low at 0.65% and a required purity of 99.98%. Always with a single passage using Quasar, the final purity is 99.99%, so very close to 100%, and the reject after resort is only 0.66% of the input, with a concentration of 85%. In case the final purity cannot be achieved with one single passage due to a high contamination level, the sorter shall be configured to perform several passages called resort usually from two up to four passages. For example, this picture shows the configuration with three resorts of accept fraction in a single machine. The accept fraction of the shoot one is charged to the shoot two, and the same happens from the shoot two to the shoot three. These represent an inline configuration using multiple shoots. Alternatively, more machines can be disposed in cascade to resort the accept fraction from one on the top to another on the bottom. Thank you, Valeria. That was a great presentation. Now I will continue by presenting you the rest of the technology and at the end I will perform a small experiment with numbers we have from our clients. We're going to start with the dehulling for oak crushing plants. Um, in the beginning, we are uh, starting with a pre-cleaner. It is an air, air screen cleaner uh, named by our company Elica. We, here we are removing all the impurities like sticks and dust uh, before going into the dehulling system so that we can uh, make the system more efficient and protect the machines. Next, we go to the dehulling system, for, for especially for oak crushing. The special thing here is that our team of engineers um, improved the already existent model and patented this improvement. The interesting thing is that the system can be adjusted to produce material going to the presses with different levels of hull content, from 2% to 12%. This flexibility gives the advantage to our clients to produce high-protein sunflower meal. Also, due to the integrated closed cycle aspirations, the kernel's content in the host fraction is minimized, which reduces vastly the production losses. After the separation process, the hose go to the hose beater, while the kernels and final particles go directly to the pressing section. If we see here, the next step is the hose beater. Here we are removing the final particles which have sticked to the shells. 
With this type of equipment, our technology decreases the O content from the, from the separated host. Thus, we are increasing the profitability of the technology. The remaining O contact in the host is from 0.5 to 1.5% above the botanical O content. After the host beater, the final particles go to the pressing section, while the hose are usually pressed into briquettes with our own briquet press. As you can see, the last machine on the technology is the briquette press. It is specially designed to service our clients' needs to process the separated hose from the process creating another business unit by transforming the waste hose into biofuel. This way, they are saving costs from storage and transportation and in the same time profiting from the production of an additional product. So now we move on to the installation for cleaning, calibrating and dehaling sunflower for kernels. Here you can see a 3D model of a full installation from start to finish. From the cleaning, then we go to the calibration, dehaling, the optical sorters, final inspection and the packaging. So let's look, take, take a closer look to all the machines. Again, here we're starting with the pre-cleaning and fine cleaning in order to protect the processing line and improve again its efficiency. At the first stage, sticks, dust and other foreign impurities are removed. But here we are using a pre-cleaner and then an air screen cleaner. As you can see, we have two stages of calibrating. At the first stage, again, we are using an Elica air screen cleaner. Uh, we are removing the small sunflower seed fraction, which can then go to all crushing. On the second stage of calibration, the remaining fraction is separated into two sizes with the same volume. Then we have the, the disc toner and both fractions that we have separated are processed on different stoners for removing heavy impurities like stones, corn, wheat, beans, soya and other heavier impurities. We have the decaling system for kernels production and there again we have three types of equipment. We are starting with the dehaler and as Netco explained, we have the gentle dehaling of sunflower seeds so that the kernel is kept as much as possible intact. Also by having the opportunity to adjust the dehaler to process two different fractions coming from the calibration, we are largely increasing the yield of the process. Then we have the Elica Air Screen Cleaner, which is right after the dehaling and then the material goes straight to, the air, to this cleaner. There, the, the, the kernels are separated from the hose and fine oil, oil particles. The, dividing, the, the driving shaft and the motor are mounted to the shoe, as we explained earlier, so that the machine requires much less fortification. This reduces the con construction and civil works expenses by two to three times. We have the closed cycle aspiration attached to the cleaner. The machine has an aspiration module which allows great flexibility as it doesn't require any additional equipment to operate such as cyclones, air ducts and filters. This actually leads to enormous energy savings, first because there are fewer power consumers and second because the same air is recycled which reduces the air conditioning energy consumption and also it reduces the cost and time for installation. Another special equipment that we have integrated in this system is a closed loop chain conveyor. As Detko explained, this type of equipment is installed in the place of three other conveyors. By having one integral conveying unit, the installation, maintenance and energy consumption costs are largely reduced. Then we have the party separator. Recently, we have improved our kernels production technology by substituting the gravity table with a party separator. This resulted in, in decreasing dramatically the energy consumption of the process because the machine doesn't require aspiration, cyclones and energy consuming filters. Eliminating such kind of additional equipment also decreases the installation costs while improving the efficiency and quality of the output material. With the integration of this type of equipment, we have lowered the number of, need, of needed machines for the process, previously the gravity tables, and thus lowering the, main, the maintenance costs. This machine requires four to five times fewer stops for cleaning. 
in comparison to working principle of the gravity table, where the capacity degrades with each working hour due to clogging of the working area with fine old particles, the body keeps its working parameters at best at all time. Next we have the indent cylinder. The role of this equipment is to remove the broken kernels or chips from the material. However, due to the efficient industrial design of our dehuller, often this equipment is not needed because there is negligently low quantity of broken kernels. Often clients require the indent cylinder to facilitate the volatile requirements to the market where different percentage of broken seeds in the final product is required. Without a cylinder, our clients achieve 6 to 8% of broken kernels in the final product, or with the cylinder integrated, results are lower than 4%. At the end, we have a couple of more machines. First, we will start with the optical sorter. The mutual work with ISM for the past 12 years resulted in understanding the technology deeply and thus taking the advantage of the the strong synergies between their optical sorters and our turnkey solutions. The acquisition led to even deeper research where the new models like Quasar are now integrated and vital part of our complete lines. As a final inspection, we have the Airs Clean Cleaner, which improves the commercial appearance of the final product and thus increases the price of this final product. Any dust resulted from the operation of the machines and the material running through the line is removed here. Next, we have the X-ray. And here, a final inspection is performed as the technology supplies the food market and it's, a manda it's mandatory to inspect the product before packaging. Now, this is the only equipment that is not produced by Elica, but is carefully selected from a number of suppliers. At the very end, we have the weighing system and after the product is ready and inspected, a precise system for dosing in, in small bags and in big bags is used for packaging stage. The automation is developed by our team of engineers and is based on the Siemens platform and hardware. Some, some of our clients decide to integrate at the end a briquette press again as the previous technology for pressing the remaining uh, waste hose into briquettes and thus creating a valuable product which then can they can profit. All conveying equipment is produced by Elica and picked individually for, for every process. Conventional bucket elevators and chain conveyors are supplemented by more specialized conveying systems such as the Z-elevator for increasing the quality and closed loop chain conveyors for increasing efficiency. The complete sunflower line the complete sunflower dehulling line and of Elica in total consumes two to four times less electricity than what is currently on the market. All right, so now I'm going to switch to Excel to show you the financial performance of an average 2.4 tons dehulling line. Right, here you see a small table with some parameters. We have the intake pre-cleaned sunflower seeds, which are 100% of the, of the intake. From these, when we calibrate them, we get to 65% of sunflower, which is ready to the hill, and 35% of this 100% are going, is a small fraction and is going for oil crushing, usually. From this 65%, we get 58% of uh, sunflower kernels on average. I'm not putting the maximum so that the example is a bit more real. Clients are working on um, with different parameters and settings, so I take a bit lower um, average number. We have 25% of output hose, 30%, 13% of reject final oil particles and 4% of chips. The prices as I have taken for these is 500 euros for the black sunflower. Again, the small fraction, the clients are selling it on the same price of the black sunflower. So, so again, we have 500 euros. Recent price was around 1000 euros for the kernels. 150 euro is the ton per briquettes if we consider that the client has a briquette press. 530 euro is the reject and final oil particles. And then we have the 950 euro for the broken um, kernels or the chips. 
So to reach the 2.4 tons per hour ready kernels, we have to have an intake of the pre-cleaned sunflower seeds at around six tons. And now we'll see how the table works. All right, now from these six tons, we get 3.9 tons calibrated sunflower for dehaling. Of these 3.9 um, tons, we get 2.2 tons ready kernels, uh, almost one ton of hose, and then the remaining quantity is in reject and final particles and chips. We are selling or buying these on these prices. So at the end, we get a um, daily income of 17,000 euros and an yearly income of more than 5 million euros. So now be aware that this is an income. So here we have to deduct all the costs for electricity, manpower, uh, if you're renting or owning a building, all the, the other costs that are usually, uh, that usually comes from the processing of any kind of seeds or activity. So this was just a simple example. Um, we can change here the, at any, any way the numbers and see how it looks. So for example, we can have 20 tons and then we get a line of 7.5 kernels we have such uh, such installations one of them is in bulgaria actually and then you get a 17 million euro, euro yearly income all right i will go back to the presentation now And we are ready to answer some of the questions that we received in the chat section. We also received some questions previously via email. So um, I have picked some of the interesting and most frequently asked questions and we'll see how much time we we'll have left uh, for all the questions. If we cannot answer all the questions, our sales representatives who invited you to this webinar will take these questions and answer them in an email or in a telephone call. So, one of the first question is, what is the electricity consumption cost of the complete line? Well, that's an interesting question and actually I have received some feedback from a client in Bulgaria, the one that I mentioned just before. He has a 7 ton per hour complete uh, line for production of kernels and they provided us the feedback that they have the cost per ton at around 5 euros. So then you can make some calculation of uh, what is the monthly uh, electricity bill and the uh, yearly cost. Okay, so the next question is uh, how many working days you used for the calculations? Right, uh, well here I have excluded the days for the, ca for the cleaning and also the holidays. So I came with the number of 300 days working 24 hours per day. Next question is, uh, what is the wear of these dehullers? What is in your opinion on the time we need to replace wear plates or change some rotary parts? Yeah, well, that's a good question. Uh, we have uh, two places where we need to change uh, wear parts. The set of rotor blades between uh, two and four years, the rotor is the, the, the detail that is turning inside of the dehuller. And this depends on the, on the working hours that they're working. The blades can actually be turned around after the first or second year and be used in this position for another one or two years before replacing all of them. Also, the impact frame consists of baguettes, which um, also need to be replaced. On average, they should be replaced every two years, but the design allows for replacing only the worn out baguettes, reducing the cost of spare parts. Another question which we uh, received via email previously is how can we adjust the percentage of hose removal? Well, we can manage the percentage of hose separation by adjusting the aspiration through a frequency converter. And another way to do that is by changing and adjusting the sieves in the cleaner. 
Also, as uh, Netco explained, the working principle of the closed loop chain conveyor. Uh, there we can open the bypass to let the black sunflower to the pressing section and not to be returned for a second dehulling pass. So this way you can actually add more holes to the material that goes to the pressing section. These are questions coming from an oil crushing plant. Okay, another question that we received just now is can you install this complete line in any building? So my answer to that question would be that we have our team of engineers and designers. They are projecting the uh, installation in regards to the building that the client has. Of course, the best case scenario is that the building is not built and, and we can actually uh, make the 3D project and then uh, consider the building with that project but anyway if you already have a building we have a minimum area that we have to fit in but all the logistics with the transport equipment and the location of the machine can be changed uh, in regards to the requirements of the client and the specification of the building so whenever we start the project we look on what the client have as a building and then try to fit the installation within that building all right that was it for this webinar. I hope that it was interesting for you. Uh, we'll be seeing each other for the next webinars during the year. If you need more information, you can contact any of the local dealers that you, that you see on the slide right now. Or, of course, you can visit our website, uh, look for more information about the machines, use the contact form, and we'll be contacting you shortly after that. Thank you again and have a nice weekend. Bye.